Namaste, I'm Jesseline. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 96. First up, use the new CSS overview panel to identify potential CSS improvements on your page. Open the panel via More Options, More Tools, CSS Overview. Click on Capture Overview. The report shows a summary of your page's CSS. For example, select the Font Info section. It shows a summary of your font details and usage. Click on the Occurrences to view the list of affected elements. Click on the element to open it in the Elements panel. Go to goo.gr slash CSS overview to understand the report further. The CSS overview panel is a preview feature. Our team is still actively working on it. Please send us your feedback at goo.gr slash CSS overview feedback. We are looking for feedback for further enhancements. Next, you can now emulate the CSS Prefers Contrast Media feature. The Prefers Contrast Media feature is used to detect if the user has requested more or less contrast in the page. Open the command menu with Control Shift P or Command Shift P in macOS. Run the Show Rendering command to open the rendering tab. Locate the Emulate CSS Prefers Contrast dropdown. There are four options you can select from. More, less, custom, or no emulation. Another emulation feature. Use DevTools to emulate AutoDuck Team to easily see how your page looks when Chrome's AutoDuck Team is enabled. Chrome 96 introduces an origin trial for AutoDuck Team on Android. With this feature, the browser applies an automatically generated DAC theme to your website, depending on the user's operating system settings. In the Rendering tab, locate the Emulate Auto Dark Mode dropdown. There is no emulation applied by default. You can enable or disable it. Two new options are added in the Context menu for you to easily copy CSS rules as JavaScript properties. These shortcuts are handy, especially for those of you who are working with CSS in JS libraries. In the Styles pane, right-click on a CSS rule. You can select Copy Declaration as JavaScript to copy a single rule, or Copy All Declarations as JavaScript to copy all the rules. Use the new Payload tab in the Network panel when you inspect a network request with Payload. In the Network panel, Select a network request with payload. Then, open the payload tab to view the payload information. Next, you can now hide course errors in the console. As the course errors are now reported in the Issues tab, hiding course errors in the console can help reduce the clutter. In the console, click on the Settings icon and uncheck the Show Course Errors checkbox. Here is a bonus tip. Use the Coverage tab to find unused JavaScript and CSS code. Removing unused code can speed up your page load and save your mobile user's cellular data. Open the Coverage tab via More Options, More Tools, Coverage. You can specify whether code coverage data should be collected per function or per block. Per block coverage is more detailed, but also far more expensive to collect. By default, DevTools uses per function coverage. Click on the Reload button to reload the page and start capturing coverage. Click on the Stop button to stop recording. The table in the Coverage tab shows you what resources were analyzed and how much code is used within each resource. Click a row to open that resource in the Sources panel and see a line-by-line -line breakdown of used code and unused code. All right, there are more new features in Chrome DevTools 96. As usual, go to the video description for the link to my blog post and other information. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 97. Ciao!